Good morning. Welcome back to KJ's channel. Uh, we just got done with prayer meeting. And I kind of wanted to talk about that today. As a pastor, a lot of people don't realize that, you know, pastors are humans too. We have strengths and we have weaknesses. We have things that we enjoy more than other things. Um, and prayer has never really been one of my strong points and never been one of the things that I tend to focus on. I love to teach and preach and study the Bible. I do have prayer time, but it's never been something that has been a major focus of my life. And I know other guys that are prayer warriors. If you ever get a chance, watch the movie War Room. Very, very good. But we had a guy in our church that uh, really wanted to start a prayer meeting. Uh, due to the demographics here, it's really hard to get people to gather together. And so we've been doing this online one. And uh, I think I'm growing in the area of prayer. So I'll talk about that a little bit more today. So I guess I'm talking specifically about corporate prayer for the most part. I spend a lot of time praying and just talking to the Lord. I, my running time, I do spend quite a bit of that just talking to God and working through things. And like I said, that's kind of my quiet time. But actually sitting down with other people in church and and uh, praying together and sharing burdens and concerns um, has kind of been uh, an area that I've struggled in just because there's a, there's a lot of different reasons. And there's a lot of different books and there's all kinds of different ideas about prayer and prayer meetings and all the all the things that are involved in that. And I've just never really found a good comfortable spot or a place that I, uh, that I know. So um, I'm thankful the Lord has brought somebody else to our church that wants to kind of head that up and lead that. And uh, you know, that's, that's a real blessing to a small town pastor where everything kind of gets dumped on you and you're responsible for everything. And you're supposed to be an expert in everything and you just can't be. Uh, the body of Christ is made up of people with different talents, different spiritual gifts that work together. And it's really encouraging to see some of that coming together right now. Being an agricultural community, we pray for rain. Often, especially as dry as it is here. And today, we got a little bit. See, there's still a little bit of residue. I had my tent up because I was waiting for the patches to come. So now it's going to have to sit there and dry before I can pack it up. But I did get the patches from where Jeremiah shot an arrow through it. And I guess now it looks like a well-loved tent, even though it was beforehand. So here I'll show you just the tent. The It's a Gore-Tex patch on the rainfly. And that should do it. Yeah, bud. So, I have the inside of the tent down because I patched the the mesh on the inside. But uh, I'm leaving the fly up so that it can dry and get that done. Oh, did you know that tomorrow is the National Day of Prayer? And since I've been talking about prayer today, I wanted to mention that. Uh, here in the United States, it's a day that we set aside to pray for our nation, pray for our leaders, even if you don't like them, the Bible says pray for them. Uh, and so that's what I'm gonna do a little bit tomorrow. And then talk. Anyway, um, on the topic of prayer, read some books, get some different ideas. Uh, prayer throughout the Bible is a deep subject but it's a subject that's simple enough that a child can do it and pray some of the deepest prayers so while it's very simple to understand it's also very complex and so I'm going to start reading a couple different books uh, E.M. Bounds I've read through Power of Prayer and a couple of his books before but I'm gonna uh, read through those again and maybe a couple other books about prayer just to brush up my mind and maybe learn a few things.
All right, guys. It cleared up enough to get some skateboarding in. We'll see you guys tomorrow.